God in Christ has revealed his glory. Come, let us worship. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the Lord's name is greatly to be praised. Give him praise, you servants of the Lord. O oh, praise the name of the Lord. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the broken in heart. Christ, have mercy. You make one by your Spirit the torn and divided. Lord, have mercy. Psalm 13 How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, Lord my God, give light to my eyes or I will sleep in death. And my enemy will say, I have overcome him and my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love, my heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise for he has been good to me. Glory be to, to the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and ever shall be, world without, without end. Amen. Amen. The reading is taken from Matthew chapter 10, reading verses 40 to 42. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me, and anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward, and whoever welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Collect for the third Sunday after Trinity. God our Saviour, look on this wounded world in pity and in power. Hold us fast to your promises of peace won for us by your Son our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray to God for the needs of the world. O oh God, like the psalmist, we sometimes feel that you are far off and have forgotten us. With our world turned upside down, we wonder where you can be in the chaos that surrounds us. And yet, we are called to trust in your unfailing love. Draw near to all those who feel abandoned and alone, and grant them your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, who told your disciples that even a cup of water given to someone in need is worthy of reward from God, help us to recognize the needs of others and not to draw back from helping them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Spirit of God, 
who strengthens us to face even the darkest of times. Be with those who are mourning loss of any kind, loss of freedom, loss of their livelihood, loss of loved ones. Give them courage in adversity and hope that in the end all will be well. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O God, whose beauty is beyond our imagining, and whose power we cannot comprehend, show us your glory as far as we can grasp it and shield us from knowing more than we can bear, until we may look upon you without fear, through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. Sustain and support the anxious. Be with those who care for the sick, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may find comfort knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen.